Hey guy, uh, I haven't been sending you videos lately. Uh, we've just been busy and everything going on. Uh, anyway, here's uh, the George Am strip. We ended up, um, all the paint just kept coming off. You put tape on it, it would pull right off. It was cracked and dead. So we stripped the insides of the door jams on both sides. Um, the top here, when the convertible top was down, it had rust in this area right here. In other video, is probably a, a picture of it where we uh, grind it out and pull pinned it. Well, I fixed all the dent, but I leaded all this area here. And I did lead on that side because that is where the convertible top comes and sits. And it, it rides right here, and that's where it all was. So, I mean, all that's lead. All the other things are done. Um, I've stripped all the insides of the door. I got a little bit of rust. I got a weld up in a couple places. Um, but all the doors, I went ahead and stripped. All the paint just kept flaking off. So, everywhere we stuck tape, we would pull it off. And it had little crack lines everywhere. So, the best thing was just to strip them. Um, all the outsides are real nice already. Uh, they've been taped up and they're in primer. Um, the side here, that's, that's all done. That's been blocked and cleaned. And it, it's, you know, things are moving along. I, I know I haven't sent you anything, um, but we tore more things apart and then put more things back together. So just wanted to give you a quick idea. Alrighty, guy. Talk to you later. All right, real quick, I've replaced the rod hole there and uh, doing the same thing on the bottom of these doors. Uh, right here is rotted holes through it. I'm probably going to cut out a little square and weld it in real quick. And what that is is the stop bump on the bottom of the windows when the windows come down. Just been in there since the 60s, so one more thing. That has been gun practice. <laughs> I'll go out. I had to make a patch there because it was all rotted out. Uh, the rotted out piece is here somewhere. It's full of holes. Oh, there's some of it. There's another piece here, but anyway. All right, let me take them out and glass bead that and get the other one done. All we're doing right now is acid cleaning, getting the rest of the rust off. This is all gonna get sprayed tonight in epoxy. So, just the basics. Lacquer thinner, acid, water, same stuff we've been doing. All we're doing right now is yesterday we put panel bond in between the seams where it was going to rust and we're just cleaning it up now so that we can put epoxy over it. Well, panel bonding is a lot stronger than seam seal and uh, it has its original skins. Now we glass bead and cleaned and did everything else and acid treated and all. but. Uh, it's a lot stronger than seam seal, so we go around it all with that, and then we'll sand it down real quick and put a boxy on it. And we'll be good to go. And we're just going over top of it, cleaning. And gonna put this in primer so we can paint just this back area. But with all the little rust dots in it, we stripped it. And I'm gonna go down this a little bit.
Okay, I'm gonna try to show you something here real quick. Um, if you notice, we removed all the inserts that go into the door. Um, they were, this one was welded in and stripped out. It only had a couple threads. Um, the top one they had reamed out and done in coarse threads. This one was bent and crooked and only had a couple threads. So we removed them all. We put back in an original case. Yes! press this flange and press this flange all the way down around it and they go back in and they're back to normal hard as rock um but we got all brand new threads um these are what are supposed to go in these type of doors I put them in many doors it's just uh here's the same way they were just gone so that's that's what is there um, i'll swing back to the back door real quick that is what they look like when they're good i I think Bella took some pictures of them on the front. That front driver's door was just buttered to crap. So, all that will be back to normal. I'll press them in in the morning. All right, you guys. All right, all four are loose. Okay, tighten back up. All right, which one do you want me to start with? The top one. And the one you just did on the bottom felt like it pulled on me. Alright. We're same goddamn place, a fucking 16th below. I mean, we were so close. But is that because the hinge is sagging? Because of the bushing? Might be. Might be. I didn't. I checked the bushings in this back one, but I didn't check that when we put it on. Okay. The back bushings on this look like uh, we remounted all the passenger side door. Um, doing everything with it and just lining it up. We spent a bunch of time lining it up. The gap lines are real nice right now. Uh, the door's shut real nice. I'm gonna do some uh, metal work right on that line right there a little bit. Just dolly in until the metal's really nice against one another. Um, things have came out real well with them. We did, I adjusted and reground out some of the holes. Um, things have new inserts and stuff here. Let's go around with this side. I think I showed you in another video where we put all new mud inserts in this and mounted everything so the door is shut and real nice and what we had was a lot of play in the door in different things that uh the bolts were just totally shot in the front this one in the back in the top was just stripped out the only thing that held the back door was this bolt and this bolt so there's one in there and one here. There was this one was just sitting here spinning. So and then we had the same thing in the front. Um, somebody else had redone this one and this one and this was totally stripped out. There wasn't anything there. This one was stripped out. The two bolts in the center were what was holding the front hinge in place. That was the wobble that was going on in the door. So all that's been taken care of. I'm getting ready to put a little bit of primer on there and then I'll mount this other door. And, uh, talk to you later. Yeah, the whole door dropped. Didn't it? Yeah. On the other doors, we had to do the in and out adjustment first. Mm -hmm. This, uh, smoothed up pretty nice. If we take the body but it's on the door off right there. So is it flush on the be, top? Yeah, it's probably be flush. So um, do you want me to tighten it up? Yes. Yeah. And, then and then is the bottom good? And then, yeah, the bottom's really long. Um, the top should be tight up there. They are. Now we got all these things again. But you need to take this one and put it here when we do it. Okay. I mean, you, we can try it that way, but. Alright, close the door. Get your paint fixed. 
So yeah, right right now the front is higher than the back. Well, the back is about a 16th down. Yep, that's what it looks like here. So I'm gonna try to get under it and hold it up, but I think you're gonna have to loosen all of them. All right, George, you gotta put the camera down and hold the door shut. All right, I've been doing metal work on this fender. Um, it's came out really nice. Uh, a lot of hand dollying, hand pinging really to get in between it. Um, I pulled and worked that edge real good, but it was in about 3 sixteenths. Uh, if you look down at the mouth, we're really uh, lost out of focus, I think. But anyway, there we go. It's really, really smooth, just metal to metal against the fender and the door. Um, all, all of this area right through here, from right about here, down to here, was really in. Um, I'll show you in other videos, and I'm down to working, uh, if you see right there, a uh, couple little pings I gotta work up. Uh, these are the last of the low areas right here, and right here, and then I'll have to tighten this up and reel it and, and work it down, but I, I've gotten all that area up, it, it's came out real nice, so, uh, and the body work and everything is, is paper thin. Um, I use it more as a guide and then work the metal right to the edge. So, I mean, all these is, came out really nice. So I'm working down this side. It's came out really good. All right, it's snowing outside and I'm all nice and warm in here. So I'm bad with the camera. But anyway, here, um, what did he give you an idea? You can run this down it. If you look from the top, there is no putty down any of the, the lines or anything down the side. And everything's really even. We go down this way. Really nice and even. And uh, trying to keep it in focus. There's uh, no body putty down anything right across the edge. Everything is metal to metal. Um, I put back in epoxy last night. So, uh, give you a quick idea. So, um, getting ready to put in some final primer. I got to do a little bit to this fender, and uh, but the body lines, everything's came out really nice. I got the other side hanging everything ready. Uh, I've been working on this side and back on the other quarter, but uh, I lined up the door, but it's a little difficult to do with nobody else here. Um, so I'll move the weight on the other side real quick. George helps me real good. Though. All right.